Let's commentate some more top eight. I'm super excited to see this. DCS is a melee player. Shields was it, 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 he, he mostly plays melee, but he also plays PM. GCS is most he, he's just playing melee and PM. So he's he, playing he's melee. He's not. He PM. doesn't really care that much about PM. Okay. But Pinky is exclusively a PM player. Yes. So will GCS be able to adapt to like PM? The things PM can happen with. Yeah. Because for one, I think this is actually a bad matchup for Luigi. So that's yeah. not going to help. But I think this would be a very interesting set. I, I predict GCS would take it, but. Yeah. But it, it's a 45 55 matchup, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Dust, I'm Dustin, I mean, Pinky is a good friend as well. We played many matches. I know that it's hard for Luigi because of like Game Watch's lingering yeah. hitboxes always being out, and Luigi doesn't have that movement option as much, especially yeah, also, with stuff uh, like down. Normally, Luigi just says, you want to combo me? No, no, here's an yeah, air. Just the, have an air. I'm just going to stick three my foot out and be like, well, you can't combo me. But Game & Watch actually has the tools to do just that, because his combo tools are so disjointed. Exactly. Fair and up air both out-prioritize heavily. I think you're right now, prove me wrong, he's just winning neutral. That's, that's all that's happening here. Uh, we'll see if GCS is able to adapt and change things right now. He, is he does land the Nair edge guard, excellent. Very little Luigi can do about that. The only thing he could have done was air dodge, but it's questionable as to whether or not that would have worked out. All right, Pinky covering the ground with that move. What do you call Luigi's down B? Is it Luigi Nado? Uh, Luigi Tornado or something? Yeah, I, we just Luigi. call it Tornado. Uh, I mean, it's like might be like Cyclone or something. Maybe yeah. Mario copyrighted Tornado and Luigi Cyclone. I think there's something different. All right. Yeah, right now GCF changed an excellent read on that neutral air with the combo. But Luigi will be able to make it back. Is GCS ready for him to do that? No, he's not. All right, Luigi did not touch the ground, so he should not have Tornado. Sorry, one, one of my adoring fans. Yeah. No. Shout, shout out to Jay Bass. Not quite getting a top three. I know the feeling. My first like five tournaments I played it four. It, it hurt. It, it hurt bad. But yeah. Okay, shout out to Jay Bass. Great guys. Back to the game though. Very even thus far. Cyclone. There's Pinky that hammer. mirror again. Oh god, those, those combos. It doesn't seem like GCS is, is familiar with the, the PM concept in Game & Watch of up being out of combos, because it, it's a lot faster than, you know, the normal jump just because of how quickly you go upwards. But however, he is very familiar with, with getting these, like, reads, because Luigi falls so slowly, it's very easy to predict where he's going to be, so Luigi can choose one of maybe two options. Normally, he'd be able to throw out an aerial to be like, no. But against Game & Watch, it's fair. That's not going to work. Edgeguard situation gets him again. A but misfire, misfire, though, gets yeah. over his head. We punish him. He's got an airborne. Oh, he comes down with an air. Pinky keeps... Pinky's having a problem right now where he keeps yeah. throwing out moves because it seems like he feels like he has to, even though the pace of the match doesn't really mandate that. Right. And, right. and GCS is just kind of dialed into it. Where all right, he's gonna throw a move, so I'm just gonna jump, come down from there, come down with jump, and come down from there. Big hitbox that'll yeah. cover right. that. Uh, everything's yes. right here. Yes, yes, it is. <coughs> I made, I made the, I, I, I made the rule list, and I honestly yeah. didn't know the full answer to that. Yeah. So I'm just like list. I made it, so I don't have to remember. Uh, exactly. Exactly. You'll get used to it. You'll memorize it, but please. I mean, literally, I've been in this literally, scene. it's just. I've been in this scene for years. I have not. Like, I yeah, still don't. Well, I mean, it's always interchangeable with a lot. Yeah, of it, it, if it didn't change, like I, 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 I don't mail it. All right. All right, we're not going to FD. Uh, I don't like that counter pick. Yeah, uh, that would be questionable at best. <laughs> Battlefield, that is interesting. Uh, I was right. expecting FOD to be good, but yeah, Battlefield's fine. Uh, wow, Pinky used that movement real well. From honestly, I I think Dreamland's better than Battlefield, but maybe maybe Pinky. Uh, every uh, 
two players playing each other, you have to remember they aren't playing the same matchup that people theory craft an ideal for. Normally, you'd think Luigi would want a little more space. Game & Watch wants to kill earlier because Luigi can recover from a lot of places. But in this specific match, I think he has had a lot of trouble recovering. He's had a little bit of trouble edge guarding, and he's had a lot of trouble with GCS baiting moves out and punishing for it. So going to a smaller stage does make sense in the context of this uh, and this match alone, to a certain extent, of the So I definitely don't fault him for this. All right. Yeah, GCS is oh, just yeah. keeping hitboxes out. Edgar gets the spike yeah. hitbox, the meteor, set it down to the grave. Goes for the misfire. Can't fault him for that. All right, and there's the nair. Yeah. Quick kill. Very quick. Like normally, he, he what he'd done there is thrown in a second back air, and the second back air would have been too slow. That's why GCS went in there, because he's like, alright, he's in the back air, I'm gonna get in and fair him real quick before the other back air comes out. But Nair came out just fast enough, and GCS wasn't ready, so he didn't space in the fair. And that, that's when they killed. Very smart play by Pinky. Alright, keep. So the cowboy has got going! Yep. Quick kill! He just says, you hit me? Yep. Give me your stock. Luigi Give me it. said, you, you hit, hit me, me, I'm gonna turn yeah, your I'm combo into I'm my combo. You. Your combo is mine. <laughs> God, I think. I have a slight suspicion that Pinky practices tech skill here. Oh. He was not moving maybe. like this on Dreamland. These platform shenanigans are getting crazy. Yeah. He's looking All real All right, here crisp. we go. Uh, he, just using the same recovery off GCS just yes. dialed into it. Luigi does have an extremely readable recovery for Game yeah. Watch in particular. But I feel like he could mix it up a little better because he, he keeps using maximum recovery options to, like, make sure he gets to the back right. of the stage using as little as possible. But because of that, because he is so efficiently using his recovery options, it's very predictable. So I think I think he needs to, you know, be less efficient in his recovery options, because if he just Luigi missiles, he's gonna get there. Exactly. If he does it at a predictable time. It's gonna happen. Alright, but I think he is holding uh oh. Alright. Yeah, yeah he got an air again. He held it a little longer, but not quite long enough. We're down to the last stock for game two. 0%. Game two is going to be huge. I, it's going to be very it's very difficult to beat a Falcon three or a uh, Game & Watch three games in a row, especially since UCS does also play Falcon. In fact, I think he mostly plays Falcon as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I did see his Falcon earlier in bracket. Oh, here, that's what he needs to get started with the combo. Maybe he breaks out. Extremely he even right now. Got him off stage. Will he be able to convert an edge here? Goes for the hard read, doesn't quite get it. Gets the shield grab, sends him back off stage. Goes for the spike, but GCS upbeat before he thought he would. He thought he was going for the speed spot. Gets the fair. Takes game two. Very right, close so set. One, one. Very close. All right, so where do you think GCS is going to go? I think GCS is oh, going to go Falcon, Falcon, and I think he's going to go PS2. That's right. my guess. Alright. Uh, I could be wrong. I right. <laughs> honestly didn't see the character select here, or the character change here. I, I figured he was going to go Falcon just because, I don't know, I had a feeling. Yeah. But, and if he goes Falcon, the logical guess is PS2 because I'd imagine Dustin banned the stage that Game & Watch would most want to go to, which is either probably Wario's or Yoshi's. Right. And Falcon's like, I don't want that anyway. Give yeah. me PS2. Exactly. Give me, give me FB. Uh, although, well, this uh, tournament, Wario's, is actually banned. Right. So he doesn't have to worry about Wait, Mario. did you guys not ban stages already? No, you changed first. Oh, okay. Top five for Whoops. Game, uh, best of five. Top eight is best of five. Top eight. Yes. So if they're in top, yeah, in top eight, best of five, one ban. Only one day. Yeah. And you can't play on a stage you want on. Oh, I, I is forgot. Is it the achievement rule or is it modified the achievement rule? Uh, it says on the sheet. I don't remember which is which. Pretty modified, sure modified is only the last stage you want on. Yes, it's that. Yeah, modified. Yeah, it's modified. Alright. Alright, there we go. Oh, FD here. Not PS2, but it was FD. Because I imagine uh, since he switched characters first, he probably banned PS2. But I imagine we're going to see a very much more Wizrobe esque Falcon in, yeah. in this, since he picked this map. But I actually, though I predicted this, I think we're going to see 
personally, I think uh, Pinky's going to do a lot better against this Falcon than he did against the Game & Watch, I think. I think Luigi might actually win yes. this matchup, if not. Because yeah. Game & Watch is very difficult to edge guard if you're not completely immaculate with it. Falcon, definitely not. Yeah, Falcon. Whereas Game & Watch got some very free edge guards mm -hmm. on, uh, on Luigi. Falcon, definitely not. Yeah. Luigi unable to break out of Game Watch's combos because of Destroyed. Oh! Falcon definitely not. Oh, he messes up the ledge. I hate to see that. We're back to an even game. All right. All right, yeah, and you see Falcon unable to get his combo started there because Luigi hit A. Exactly. Luigi hit A. And Luigi's at a weird weight, too, for Falcon. I mean, it, Falcon could still come. Very him, floaty but it's just and very also floaty. pretty heavy. Not yeah. exceptionally heavy, but he's, he's well above average. All right, we could see me here, but. That nair. And Pinky up air, also back has air, got get him off stage. Barely missing the shield grab, and we're probably gonna reset the Falcon ABC. advantage here. He's trying to punish these uh, wedge top yeah. fireballs. I can see it, but, but it Pinky doesn't seem knows. like he quite knows how. Yeah, Pinky knows the limits of Luigi's off, like from the ledge movement. He's oh, using dash attack for. I don't know if you meant to do that, but that's the first time I like ever seen Luigi's dash attack be used effectively. That was weird. He just chose not to attack him. That was probably a flood. All right, will he? Yeah. Goes out. Good intercept. Using the Ganon kick. Yeah, I feel like, like Pinky that. needs to be a lot more ambiguous with those side Bs as to how much he charges it. Because if he had charged it, Falcon would have had to double jump back to stage. Good in there. Uh, training with the backwards in there of Falcon. Let's take that stock. Ooh, excellent grab. Predicting the wave dash out of shield. Oh, but here we go. Luigi can get a lot started off this. Cyclone not quite connecting. And a big combo for Falcon. He can't nair out. Predicts the nair and comes with the forward smash. Excellent. And again, with these predictable rockets. He cannot rock it again. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Great edge hog. And this match has immediately turned on its head after that SV. I think he had all the momentum, but it seems like he's lost it after that suicide. Just don't let it get to you. And he's playing he's playing too fast. He needs to slow it down. That's good. Good one. Very good. I know Pinky definitely. Oh has the hack stash. Alright, that sh could be no. I thought he would try to down uh down throw forward smash there. So, Alright. Alright, All right. there we go. Pretty Last even stop. game. This is definitely not a lead. All he needs is Ooh. Oh, there's the misfire. The green. This would be huge for Pinky if he won it. I feel like if he doesn't, it's going to be straight Game & Watch, and that, uh, the weight of that SD is going to weigh on him because he lost that stock at, like, zero. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You hate to see that kind of thing happen. Yeah, That's I, I'd really imagine say. we're going to see a swap back to Game & Watch, and Maybe. Pinky is yeah. going to pick, uh, uh, Let me double check yeah. to make sure. Okay, so it is modified. Yes. All right. So that means since Pinky won on his counter pick, he can go to Battlefield if it is not banned uh, because he won on GCS's counter pick. So the last stage he won on was. All right, back to game one. Oh no, he didn't. Never mind. Yeah, I can't but go can't. to Battlefield. That was yeah. I my bad, I got, I got it mixed up in my head. I've been doing that. Alright. Alright, we do see a swap back to Game Watch Fountain. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, he used his double jump on the up B. Ah, some fortunate for him. That would have been a nair for free. Oh. And this is going to be a difficult map. I'm going back to fighting these lingering hitboxes. Yeah, this, and this just is just not a good matchup for Luigi, yeah. and DCS knows why. Normally, you can overcome a bad matchup, especially if you're playing a traditional melee player against if you're a PM player, because there's a decent chance they don't know why the matchup's so bad. Exactly. GCS, he knows. He's figured it out. He knows exactly how to exploit Luigi's disadvantages in this matchup. 
he's done a great job that far, but Pinky is still doing a great job keeping it close. Mm, but can't get those edge guards, get spiked twice. Does he have Cyclone? I don't remember. He does. He, he will be able to recover, but he lands on stage, and now we're back to a reset the situation. Gets there to get in, just barely dies. Down two stocks. But Pinky is in winners, so this is not, he's not fighting for his tournament life, but fighting for his winner's bracket life down one stock. Excellent sweet spot. Yeah, you can't you can't be that ambitious with combos with Game and Watch against Luigi. You can you can get things pretty free, but not that free. Alright. And they're just basically just playing the neutral game, getting stray hits. Not real Yeah, Game and Watch there. isn't like Luigi's hard to combo, even though Game exactly. and Watch can combo him pretty well. See right right there, he held the side be a little I really like that because that did allow him to have a chance to recover there. I think he thought he had a jump, but he didn't. I think that's what happened. I don't know if he could have recovered anyway, though. Here he goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. An insane combo from DCS. Oh, I think he's pretty, not done yet, though. He's not done yet. He's gonna have yet. quite the depth to come back. Here we go. The, oh, he almost got the same exact combo. Wow. Miss fire. I don't Miss know fire why he did that. The stage. Fair, but won't you just quite gotta, take it. You gotta let it rip sometimes. Start getting edge guards. There we All go. Right. There's an edge All guard. Right. I have a feeling. Oh, that's gonna be it. So GCS will take it 3 1 over Pink. 